Eugene Debs, the son of immigrants, began working on the railroad in Terre Haute, Indiana, just after the end of the Civil War. He was 14 years old. He believed in the promise of American life. He believed that people could improve themselves. And that was what was the promise of the American democratic creed. When the Pullman Company drastically cut wages in 1894, Eugene Debs led the American Railway Union in a nationwide strike that brought railroads to a standstill. He was arrested and sent to jail. He emerged to lead a movement. The Pullman strike seemed to be a, a turning point. I think he looked at that and said that the two-party system was working against working people and that uh, that wouldn't be the effective avenue for change. Debs ran as the Socialist Party candidate for president five times. He's outside the mainstream. He doesn't accept the conventional wisdom. And he says, wait a minute, there's a better way. There's a different way. He delivered a speech in 1918 against American involvement in World War I and was sentenced to 10 years in prison for violating the Espionage Act. He ran for president for the final time from his prison cell. He received almost a million votes. He changes with the times, adopting a progressive, forward-thinking attitude, knowing that as the times change, that attitude has to change. He grows with time.